Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a motherfucking ba -da -ba -ba -ba. like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye, bye, bye. Orderly, as you can tell by that thumbnail, it's tragic, right? Um, I brought you guys the breaking news yesterday, and um, a lot of people were giving me. I, I got a lot of hate for it, right? They thought I was being disrespectful. Um, one thing I could tell you, um, when it comes to me and Savage and the relationship that we had, um. It wasn't a good one, okay? Um, I was in shock, you know? I was in shock when I heard the news, um, when somebody called me and told me exactly what happened. And then I tapped in with this old lady, you know, the me and the homeboy Rojo, and, uh, and I heard it firsthand. You know, I was like, wow, you know, it's upsetting. It's upsetting because you never want to see anything like this happen to anybody. Um, and when you're beefing with somebody, and it's a back and forth thing. You say all kinds of shit, okay? A lot of shit was said on both sides. You know, I hope this happens to you. I hope that happens to you. I mean, it went back and forth. Um, and then over time, gradually, um, the hate uh, dissipated. And it was more so just like, you do your thing, I do mine, bro. You know? Um, we did have plenty of conversations in the background um, where white flags were waved. I've said that. Um, you know... Um, people expected me, you got to respect the dead gun. And I do absolutely, man. I've been around long enough to understand that. And I'm one of those people that I push forward with that. And, and I rock that narrative as well. You do need to respect the dead. But at the same time, um, when that person, um, said, fuck your mother over a hundred times, disrespected your children, um, you know, disrespected your whole family, um, did a lot of different things. That a lot of people don't know about. It's hard to just forgive and forget and to let go just like that overnight. You know, I understand when people are killed or murdered, um, something tragic happens. Um, you're like, wow, right? Damn, Spam San Latina, that shit happened, right? Um, but it's hard for someone of you know, my caliber, someone like me to just say, you know what? Okay, the guy got killed. Now I'm supposed to forget everything he said. Now, I understand words are words, but sometimes when they're spoken by someone, man, um, you know, it's not a righteous thing. You know, you got to understand that um, when I first started this YouTube shit, you know, I started watching people like Boxer from Paradigm Media News, Savage Studios, you know. I wasn't really up to par on what everybody was talking about, but I was just listening and, and trying to identify with who I liked and who I didn't. And when I first started listening to Savage Studios, um, you know, I kind of liked his stuff. I liked where he was going. I liked the charisma, the narrative he was pushing, what he was rocking. Um, he wasn't not necessarily for the raza, but he told prison stories. And I was just like, anyone else, any one of you, I'll sit back and listen to him. I knew some of them to be actual factual. Some of them I knew to have a little bit of tapatio on them. But either case, they were entertaining to me. Um, you know, being in prison for so long, doing so long in CYA, um, I could identify with some of these stories and some of these things that he was talking about. Some I couldn't. Um, but that was neither here nor there. I was subscribed to the man and I watched him. Now, over time, gradually, he started to... Uh, stray away from his original message and get a little outlandish a little wild and so I felt that for no other reason it wasn't for me anymore and I kind of you know I, I, I unsubscribed I got away from the bullshit um, but I still wasn't hating on the man I still didn't think nothing bad about him I just said you know this isn't for me it's not entertaining to me anymore um, it's become something different it's become a promotion of 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 a S and Y gang or or an agenda, something that I totally wasn't involved in and didn't want to give my time to. Now, um, when I first started my YouTube channel, um, it blew up overnight, and of course, there's a lot of hate. When you have a YouTube channel, there's always going to be a lot of hate. There's going to be a lot of people that don't like you, that get in your DMs, that threaten you, that say shit, um, that are feeling some type of way just because they could feel like that. Um, and I was getting all that. I still get all that. I continue to get all that, but I push forward because a righteous motherfucker does that. I stand 10 toes in the ground in my true beliefs and what I believe in. You know, I'm bringing the rasa together and I truly believe that. And anyone that doesn't like it, you know what I mean? Spend some Latina homes. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. You know, go watch fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, Married with Children. Watch Al Bundy put his fucking hand on his pipa. You know what I mean? That's up, that's up to you. Um, but I'm going to continue to do what I does on Gunners Collective, you know, in a respectful manner. Now, um, when I was watching Savage Studios, um, 
You know, I did hear him at one point in time make a disrespectful comment and, and some derogatory statements told, towards certain people that I knew that you're not supposed to. I knew better than that. Okay, let's just say that. You know, in life, there's certain individuals, man, that you have to respect. Okay, and, and he disrespected uh, a certain group, right? And um, and I don't know if that's led to his death. I, it's probably not. But at the same time, man, when I heard that, I was like, whoa. You know, I mean, I'm going to back up off this dude like a crawdad because I was scared. Um, it's not for me. It's definitely not for me. Um, and so when I started my YouTube channel, at about that time, Savage Studios had disappeared from the YouTube scene. Um, he was going through with his old lady. He was going, doing, you know, he was living life. And, you know, life brings you, throws you different curveballs. So he was doing his own thing. So anyways, one day on IG, he taps in with me. And he was like, hey, Gunner, I've been watching your shit. It's pretty good. Whoop de whoop. Um, me, hey, I'm trying to come back to YouTube. Maybe me and you can do a collaboration. I told me, hey, I respect your get down, bro. I respect what you got going on. But Charlie Holmes, there's no way, absolutely no way that me and you can do a collaboration. Because of things that you said, Holmes, you know, what's on other people's plate sometimes spills over. And I said, and I don't want to be uh, affiliated with that. You know, I don't want to be part of, you know, some of the things that you said, bro, because they were highly disrespectful. And I don't want it to be misconstrued that I support that because I absolutely don't. Um, and then he went off on me. Well, you're a punk. I'm going to take over. This is my, this is my uh, channel. This is my whoop de whoop whoop de boop 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 And I said, I understand, bro. You feel some type of way. And I'm not meaning to disrespect you, Savage. But at the same time, bro, I just can't. I don't condone that disrespect and I can't do it. Um, and then we went back and forth, you know, uh, my mom was all types of bitches and, and, and so on and so forth. Right. Um, he started throwing addresses out there. He started throwing names out there. He started talking about pissing on graves and all this. Okay. And, uh, and I felt some type of way I'm gonna get you. Right? I was pissed. Um, but it was neither here nor there. What can you do? Words are words, right? I'm supposed to just let it go. Orale. You know what I mean? I can let it go to a certain point. But after a while, man, it starts to become redundant. You know, um, if you look in the past, there was all types of videos made about me. And so I retaliated with some funny, you know, how I do some comedy. You know what I mean? I just left him standing in a world so cold. And eventually it got to him. And so he gets at me one day on the phone. And we had each other's numbers. That was the cold part where it was, like I said, an up and down relationship. Like we had each other's numbers. He could have reached out any time. But he liked to do it over the airwaves. So eventually he reaches out to me and he tells me, hey, look. Hey, bro, you know what I mean? I I'm past all that shit. I didn't know uh, this. I didn't know that. Uh, Spence on Holmes for everything I've ever said about your mother, you know? And I felt some type of way, Holmes. You can say the Spence all you want, but I'm like, Charlie, Holmes, I'm not going to accept that. I'm not going to go back and forth with you, um, but this is what needs to be done. And these are facts, right? I said just like this. I said, how about this, bro? How about you keep my name out of your mouth? I keep my name out of your mouth because he was concerned with me speaking on his baby's mom, Brittany. And, you know, he said, hey, my son's going to have to see this one day and I don't want him to see... Um, all this bullshit. I said, I understand, man. I feel the same way. You know, I don't want my children to see, uh, you know, two grown men going back and forth like kids. Um, so I said, how about this, bro? How about we do this? How about you're, you're, I'm up north, you're way down there. Um, how about we just don't, we keep each other's names out of each other's mouths. And later on, homes, if we happen to see each other in a backyard or something, you know what I mean? We handle our business like grown men. He said, I'm down with that. I was down with that. That was it, right? Um, now, um, the whole boxer fight came along, right? And where he was going to be involved, he started getting into a boxer. He broke it down. He was scared. I seen an opportunity to Don King some shit. I seen an opportunity since we had that open line of communication to get at him and possibly fucking get this fight cracking. So I got at him. Um, he was on his high power shit. He wanted to fight Jake fucking Paul or somebody, right? And, um, and you know, and I told him, hey, bro, I think you're scared. You don't want to see boxer. I was trying to pump the shit up. Um, and that's where it went. Again, he blew up on me again. He went off on me again. And um, so we, have, so basically our relationship and the way that we spoke to each other was on and off. So when people yesterday, when I dropped this news, you know, I found out about it. I was in shock. You know, I couldn't believe, um, and it hit home. I couldn't believe that, you know, they got him or somebody got him. Now, like I said, he was killed at a smoking guns tattoo parlor in Yucca Valley. Um, <clears throat> this man was putting his address out there, you know, putting his place of work. And I know a lot of people say, well, that's down, Holmes. That he's, sad. he's a savage about it, like his name. I'm um, not, nah, bro. That's that's stupid, bro. You know what I mean? Let's just be honest. In a menudo style of direct fashion, um, he was moving different. He wasn't moving the right way. When you're a public figure and you have a platform, um, especially someone as, as um, what do you want to call it? Someone as, um, as controversial 
at Savage Studios, you don't, you know, you've opened yourself to a lot of ridicule, a lot of hate, a lot of envy, a lot of people that don't like you because of the fucking shit you say, right? You have to sm move smooth, bro. You know, there's people that are feeling some type of way in real life. There's real life and there's YouTube. And sometimes it crosses paths. And so you need to watch what you're doing. And this guy uh, was being very flamboyant, thought he couldn't be touched. You know, everyone can be touched. I myself can get touched today. That's why I'm hoping some piruha comes and touches my pipa. You know what I'm saying? You can be touched. Um, and shit happens in real life, you know, and I don't underestimate nobody at all. I'm on my 10 toes, right? I'm on my grind. Um, but I understand that he was, you know, he was getting into a, a, a lot of disrespectful things with a lot of people, a lot of well-known people. And, um, you know, whether that was the catalyst of this happening to him, you know, him being shot outside of a, a tattoo parlor or, or not, you know, we'll never know. And if we do know, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but you know, everybody knows, man, Savage was very controversial. I like to talk a whole lot of gang shit, gang, gang, right? A whole lot of shit about people. Um, he was rocking a narrative and promoting a certain organization or a certain thing, um, that a lot of people are against, you know, especially where he was at, where he lived. Um, and that's just the way it is. You know, I'm not here to, to assist anyone in an investigation. I'm not here to put uh, anything out there other than to say, man, it's a tragic story. You know, the way it ends, you know, how one's rise to fame can be meteoric so fast you can come up right and then you can go down you know um like i said i played a, a piece of that puzzle as far as the back and forth you know so when people say hey gun you're disrespecting them oh man that was fucked up the way you did it hey man uh, uh you know i don't think you're right you know you for you think i could just switch a, a, a switch on and off you know what i mean let this motherfucker say fuck your mom a million times Send letters to your familia with nut in the fucking letters, homes. Mecos, you know what I mean? Highly disrespectful to your primas. You know what I mean? Let this motherfucker, homes, disrespect your children. You know what I mean? Um, you know, after a while, it becomes a certain point, man, where you're not involved in playing those games. Like, come on, bro, how far are you going to take it? What did I do to you to make you this mad? And so then the person gets shot and I'm supposed to just forget it? And, and nah, Charlie, homes, I'm feeling some type of way still. You know, there's other people right now on YouTube that are highly disrespecting this guy. I didn't do that, bro. You know, I said it straight up. Hey, he's gone. You know, um, did I like him? Fuck no, not at all. Um, did I hate him? Fuck no, not at all. I don't hate nobody, man. You know, but I'm not going to play the bullshit. Um, so that's where it is with me. So if people that fucking expect me just to, oh, you got to respect the dead. I do respect the dead, homes. You know what I mean? But it's hard to respect an individual in life, man that constantly uh, 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 did things to not only myself, but my family uh, for no other reason than envy and hate, period. You know, like I said, that back and forth shit ain't for me. I'm a grown man. I've done been there and done that. You know I mean? I'm well into my 40s. I'm, I've been making shit happen, keeping it cracking for a lot of years. I know a lot of people don't like me out there just like they didn't like Savage Homes. But one thing you'll never hear me do is disrespect an organization. And one thing you'll never hear me do, man, is, is go out of character when it comes to a man. Right? I might clown. I might cap Homes. I might fucking get off like that where I'm mad at. But at the same time, Homes, I'm not going to disrespect somebody's familia. Period. You know? Keep families out of it. That's how it's always been with mines. You know what I mean? I don't troll people, Homes. You know what I mean? I just keep it real. Um, and then that's how I felt about Savage. You know, um, a lot of people don't know. I have untold stories about Savage. You know, I, I ran into Savage years and years and years ago, and he didn't even recall it. And one day I mentioned it, he got real quiet. I think, it's when the, I think that's when the white flags got waved. I will be telling the stories eventually. I'm going to let time pass, um, you know, and let his family, uh, uh, you know, bury him. And my condolences to his familia, to his old lady, to Brittany, to his son. You know, that counts. Out of everybody in this whole situation, his son, his mother, they're what count. You know, respect. I never disrespected his kids. I never disrespected his 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 family. You know what I mean? His mother. I disrespected Brittany's punk ass. I did that. Spence on Brittany. She disrespected herself, right? But, um, you know, I'm going to let that go. From here on forth, you know, I need to let that go as a grown man. You know, um, Savage lived the life he wanted to live. Or maybe he didn't get a chance to. But at the end of the day, you reap what you sow, man, and, and, and he did what he did. And now, you know, he's feeling the repercussions for those actions. So I just wanted to let everyone know, everybody that's hating and thinks that I'm just a fucking asshole and damn gun, you're disrespectful. And, you know, you didn't have to go through what I had to go through with this individual. You never had to 
to beef with it. And I know, man, beef is just beef. You know, that's part of being an enemiga. But we're talking about someone who disrespected to the highest degree my family for no reason. Okay? And all of a sudden, you know, the Volta gets shot. He gets killed. And I'm supposed to fucking tie, uh, cry and feel some type of way. Child is, homes. These are the streets, homie. You know what I mean? Shit happens. It could be me tomorrow. Probably will be. You know what I mean? But at the same time, fuck it, homes. La primera lives. You know what I mean? I have, it's up to me, man, the way I carry myself and the legacy I leave for my children. You know, it's up to me uh, to be that man that I could be and to continue to be that. You know, I'm not here to disrespect anyone, homes. I'm just here to keep it real. You know, if you fucking can't, can't get with that program and you don't like that, then I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, man, I was in shock yesterday. It was a fucking rough day for me. All night it was rough because it touched home. I thought of every conversation me and Savage ever had. And I said, fuck, bro. I can't believe they got this cat. I can't believe this Vato's fucking mouth or, or his actions um, led to his demise. But I guess that's how life is, right? It just touched home a little bit because of the beef that we had. It's like, I wanted him, right? But I, you know, not in that nature. But you, you can understand where I'm coming from. Um, I wanted to be a little bit more sad to do in this one. Um, and tell you that we did have phone conversations, several. You know, and he was different than you guys think. You know, me and Rojo would call him, you know, because throughout this whole beef that me and him had, him and Rojo had a relationship as far as they were cool. And see, I'm a righteous motherfucker. Just because you're my homeboy and you get along with someone I'm not getting along with doesn't mean I hate you. You're a grown man, homes. You're able to pick and choose who your friends are and do your thing. I didn't hate on my boy because he was, he had a, you know, uh, uh, they talked and shit. Charlie, homes, I don't get down like that. I knew when crunch time came and when push came to shove, man, my boy had my back, right? Um, but he kept that open line of communication. So there was times that he would be talking to Savage and I would jump on the line or fucking I'd be right there at Rojo's house and I'd get at fucking Savage like, what's up, what's cracking? Oh, this fool, now fuck you, fool, what's happening, right? And we chop it up. Eventually, man, the, 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 the phone conversation would end on a good note, a civil note. It wasn't like I backed this dude's play and anything that he had going on, I was, I was stood behind, but it would end civilly, man. And it's hard for me to stomach that. You understand? We're talking about someone who very highly disrespected my family. But I, thought I was pissed, right? Um, but I always let him know at every end of the conversation that one day we would come together like motherfucking Diana Ross and Marvin Gaye. Someday we should be together, right? And we're going to make it happen. Um, we were going to get off. You know what I mean? Where we were mad at. And he understood that. And, and I, one thing I could say is he never, he never said no, right? I said, I'm... I will see you, bro. And he says, okay, I'll be waiting. Okay, we'll wait, motherfucker, because it's coming. And that was that. Um, anyway, so with that being said, I just wanted to touch on that and, and let everyone know that yesterday, you know, I was just, the spill that I put out there, you know, was not meant to be disrespectful. Some misconstrued it as such. Um, it was more meant to, you know, I was in shock and I was just like, wow, breaking news. I wasn't excited that he died. I wasn't happy that he passed. Um, I was more shocked and just like, wow, I need to hurry up and put this out there for the people because I knew the people would appreciate um, the news. You know what I mean? Um, something like this, it was crazy. You look it up, you know, everyone's been looking it up and there's nothing about it. And the reason why there's nothing about it, man, is they could care less about the raza. They could care less about another brown man getting killed, man. You know, at the end of the day, you know, for me to rock the narrative of the raza, homes, I'd be bullshit, man, if I didn't say, man, he's just another brown man gone and they care less, right? The media don't give a fuck. So it's up to us to put out the news. Anyways, man, I just wanted to clear that up. With that being said, man, I hope that you move forward with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Think about what's going to happen tomorrow or today. You know, you never know, man. And don't disrespect anybody, you know? That's from the bottom of my heart, man. You know, I wished a lot of bad things upon him and now I wish... That he was still there for his son. But it doesn't happen, man. You know, if you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy as the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all people in the coming together. Rest in peace to Savvy Sav. I called him that. He knew it. He used to get mad like my, I ain't Savvy Sav. Yeah, you are, bitch. Right? Savvy Sav. Rest in peace, brother. Shit happens.